And what a devastating loss. We've been talking to Reginald's moms. They were also at court today to see the two women now charged with his murder. Count one is to both defendants. Homicide, murder, first degree, premeditated, maximum complete life without parole. 21-year-old Sharnia McCoy and 25-year-old Erica Osborne both arraigned in 36th District Court today, charged with the first-degree murder of 17-year-old Reginald Rose Robinson. Reginald was shot and killed Friday around 6.30 in the evening near a party store in Detroit after investigators say the women were angry because one of them thought Reginald made a comment about one of their bodies, but he actually did not. It wasn't even him. It wasn't even old, none of the boys that he was with, none of his friends or anything. It was another gentleman in a store made a comment about the, the heavier set oh, girl God. that went in the store. God. The boys God. laughed. They did that. When, 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 when did laughing become a reason to take someone's life? I'm numb right now. Them kids, them girls took my baby and they're not, not remorseful at all. They just looking like, oh, well. Investigators say Erica Osborne pulled the trigger and she was in a vehicle being driven by Sharnia McCoy. In their mugshots, the women don't even appear to be scared of the idea of being under arrest for the teen's murder. And one of them is pregnant. You was pregnant shooting. You was pregnant, so how could you? So you that just shows what remorse did you have for your child? You got a child that's coming up. How would you feel? You took my baby, my baby, my baby at 17, my baby gone. And both women are now being held without bond. They're expected to be back in court next week. Reporting live, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Yeah, Kim, I uh, understand the pain has got to be unimaginable for the mothers there. Now, we understand Reginald was working out, helping the police department with some things. Absolutely. This was a really bright young man. He worked last summer at one of the local police precincts helping out up there. And his mom say he was really looking forward to moving to Arizona and going to college out west. Back to you. Kim, thank you so much for that report. Yes, such a terrible way, such a terrible loss. Yes.